Today we're going to be checking out Predator Storage GM7000. This is the one terabyte SSD, which will be going into the M2 slot of my motherboard. If you guys don't know how to do this, I'm going to show you how since I just learned how to do it myself while making this video. So if you guys have any questions, let me know down below. So in the box, all you really get is a memory stick and the instruction manual. It's pretty minimal, but that's all you really need. I'm not going to get all technical as I'm no expert when it comes to SSDs. And when I opened it up, I noticed it had a paper foam on the top of the stick. I didn't really know if I had to take this off or not. So it's something I had to look up. Just so you guys know, this is a customized heat spreader that helps improve heat dissipation and reduce operating temperatures while in use. This drive is compatible with laptops, desktops, and consoles like the PS5. I've read that the GM7000 improves game startup and scene loading speeds. I haven't really tested it out all that much, but I will be doing some of that via my Instagram reels. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram there for more testing. All right, so here I have my PC opened up. Of course, it's disconnected from the power. It's turned off and here is where i'll be putting in the ssd right here where it says ultra m2 all right first i want you guys to notice this little half circle here is where the screw is going to go over and on the other side is where you're going to insert it into the motherboard you're going to be inserting the ssd into the motherboard at a 30 degree angle just make sure it's really in don't push too hard and just kind of leave it let it be in place it's going to sit on its own at an angle that's how you know you've inserted it correctly now that the ssd is in place what you're going to want to do is grab that little screw that it came with gently with one finger push it down all the way down and then go ahead and screw that little screw on top of the ssd so what it'll do is just kind of smoothly hold it in place uh, just make sure you don't do it too tight but again not to lose you want to make sure it's flat against the motherboard again before you buy an ssd just make sure that your motherboard actually has an m2 slot uh here i have the as rock z3090 pro 4 so this board actually has two m2 slots so i could fit another ssd if you guys are interested in this motherboard i'll have it in the link down below so next we're just going to go ahead and plug in the pc turn it on um, so I've read that if you put the SSD into the M2 slot, your computer should recognize it right away. Unfortunately for me, it actually did not recognize the drive. So I kind of had to do a little bit of digging around my storage and learn on exactly what I needed to do. So I'm going to go ahead and take you through the steps that I needed to take to get my computer to recognize this SSD. So the first thing I did is I searched up disk management and then I tapped on create and format hard disk partitions. I noticed I had an unnamed disk. So what I did is I right clicked on it. I went to format. I left the volume label as is. I chose the NTFS for the file system because it only allows me to do that. I pretty much just kept everything at default. I hit OK. It went through its process. And after that, my storage was usable. So at this point, I was able to see it under my folders and I was able to put things into the folders as well. So at this point, the storage is now usable. So this drive delivers up to 74 megabytes per second for reads and up to 6,700 megabytes per second for write speeds. Uh, again, it is compatible with laptops, desktops, and consoles like the PS5. So it is a pretty good purchase. It was super easy to install. As somebody who's never done this before, I honestly had no issues on doing this. Hopefully you guys don't as well. If you guys want me to make a more in-depth video in regards to the speeds and how fast games load and stuff like that, just let me know down in the comments. I'm definitely willing to do just that.